back at WNST, Towson, of Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. What a week we have around here. Real playoff pennant race baseball. The uh, Ravens heading out to Cincinnati this week. And, of course, we're taking the Maryland Crab Cake Tour back out on the road. A couple of old friends and venerable Baltimore City Crab Cakes. We're going to be at Fadley's on Friday. Uh, what a hoot nanny we got there. In the morning, we have Coppin State President Dr. Anthony Jenkins along with uh, Larry Stewart, new hoops coach. We'll be talking some Eagles. They've been our flagship for a decade now here at WNSD, so I'm looking forward to that. I think Ruffin's going to come by for some uh, shrimp salad and some fried oysters as well. Friday night, we're going to be at the Nest. We're going to have Raven scratch-offs to give away there too. The Nest, where is that? They didn't just name it after me. Actually, they named it before they found me. But uh, it's it's right above the cupcake here at the Baltimore Convention Center, up on the second level at the corner of Conway and Howard, right as you come into the city. Going to be 50,000-plus downtown for Adam Jones on Friday night. We'll be at the Nest. We'll also be at Coco's next Thursday on the Maryland Crab Cake Tour, presented by Window Nation, as well as our friends at Jiffy Lube, and, of course, the Maryland Lottery. I'm about to get the Raven scratch-offs. They're going to be purple. There's going to be lots of winners at Coco's next week and on this week at Fadley's and at the Nest. Uh, John Martin could not be with us today. He is on assignment. I like to say that, with, as we should say with the reporters, on assignment right now. Seth Elkin joins us now. Uh, he was on assignment with us last month down in Ocean City. Last time I saw you, I had like uh, sand between my toes. It was 100 degrees. I was eating gold watermelon. The peaches were fresh. How you been, man? Uh, now it's only 90 degrees, right? <laughs> Well, it's you September know, in Maryland. It's, it's still pretty warm. Fall is here. I mean, other than these crazy thunderstorms and, and playoff baseball, who knew this, right? Like last time you and I got together it was like, well, maybe. And may now this has been fun. Home run riches has been fun this year, dude. Uh, there's no maybe about it. And yeah, you know, even though we're past those two fifty thousand dollar prizes we gave away in home run riches, every time you see one leave the yard, you know, Cedric Mullins with that grand slam not too long ago. Uh, you know, it's it's great to see the home runs getting hit, and, and and Gunnar Henderson has been swinging a hot bat here the second half of the season. So we give away money every time one of those balls leaves the yard, and and every time Mr. Splash has to spray somebody down, it's good uh, good for our players too. I'll just say this, I, and I'm I I don't have any clout with the lottery. I mean, I think you have a little bit of clout. I think John's got a lot of clout. So when I have him on, I'm going to say. Why is it when they hit the Grand Slam, they don't get more money? Why isn't that worth like a thousand? You know what I mean? I, I, I just, John's got some money. I mean, I've seen the number. We got money. Let's give some Oriole fans some more money next year for Grand Slam should be like more than 500 bucks, I think. Hey, with the way this team is playing and uh, the way it's, it's, it's uh, composed and the way it's going to be competitive for the, for here, for the, for the near future. Hey, maybe we, we tweak the rules a little bit next year. Grand Slam $5,000. Five, I mean, we're <laughs> going to hit five or six all year. It's not that much money. I mean, hell, you guys are giving away cash for life to people here this week, right? I mean, yeah, like, it's there, there better. some big winners here this week without mega, mega millions and Powerball. And, and, you know, anytime they get up to three, four, 500 million, my wife gets involved, but um, you got a cash for life story here. It's pretty good. Yeah, hey, that that first of all, that Powerball jackpot is rolling along here too. We're well over five hundred million dollars now on that. So this is where we start really picking up a lot of people interested in playing. But you're right. Uh, earlier this week, uh, on on the eleventh of September, we had a cash for life winner, of uh, a second tier winner in Emmitsburg in Frederick County. So the the second tier prize on cash for life is what does second thousand... tier mean? Describe second tier for me. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. It's a thousand dollars. So the top tier is a thousand dollars a day for life. The second tier is a thousand dollars a week for life. And uh, that second tier prize is what we had in Emmitsburg on September 11th. So somebody out there is holding a ticket that is worth a thousand dollars a week for the rest of their life. And so if they uh, hold it two more weeks, do they get the money back or no? <laughs> well, it's it's paid as an <laughs> if they decide to take it that way, they have an option. They can take annual payments, uh, which would be fifty two thousand dollars a year, or they can take a one time payment of a million dollars. So uh, that's the winner's choice. They got one hundred eighty two days to come in and claim it. But uh, yeah, they get an annual payment if they decide to go uh, that route. So it's can a it's I a fun prize. A really important week. question here because I'm getting a little older. It's my per what if you take the 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 weekly or monthly and you die can I, I i just i just need to know that uh you know that's a question people ask about this game all the time it's the prize is for the winner's life or 20 years whichever is longer so oh okay that's the way that's the way the four life prize so my kid out. will be getting filthy over in dundalk if anything happened to me is that what you're saying so if something if if some if if that were to occur which we hope it doesn't of course but it would be a uh it would be paid for 20 years or or for your life whichever is longer well, i just had to ask because i'm like 
just give me the million now. I'm breathing. I saw what happened to Buffett last <laughs> week. You know what I mean? Like, I can't have this happen. Seth Elkin is here. Uh, he communicates for all things Maryland Lottery. We uh, we appreciate that communication. We're going to be at Fadley's this uh, Friday, as well as at the Nest on Friday night, as well as at Coco's next week. Giving out the, I don't even have the new Raven scratch-offs. I haven't been down to bother Roz to get them. I'm getting them tomorrow. I'll have them uh, by Friday at the end of the week here. Um, but for, for you guys with, with Raven scratch-offs and, and Oriole home run riches and all these things that have they're nice but the big banana and i can't believe we buried the lead you were in timonium last week right like as part of the 50th anniversary and the wishbone we had a huge huge thing going on out at the cow palace on friday i I literally i haven't been up to the website i got a little detained over the weekend writing letters to to people Uh, what happened did we did we get big winners there were 10 people right Yep. We had, so it was the finale of our cash bash promotion was September 8th. And, you know, that's a a promotion connected to our 50th anniversary. Of course, we called it the 50th anniversary cash bash. And it was going on for most of the year. It started in February and the last drawing for it was in early August. So we had 10 finalists uh, from all over the state who were there to participate in an event uh, at the state fair. And all 10 of them won money. There were five who won $10,000. There were four others who won $25,000 each. And then our finalist, our our grand finalist was Virginia Mayo Holland from Berlin. And she won $100,000. She had the chance to win anywhere from $100,000 to $5 million. And it was a suspenseful final round as she picked numbers and revealed what the prizes were connected with those numbers. You had to match Uh, one of the prize amounts five times in order to win that prize. So she selected numbers that corresponded to $100,000 five times, and that's the prize that she won. But she did have two of those $5 million amounts. She needed three more, and everybody in the crowd was hoping she was going to get those. Would have been great to give away that $5 million prize, but she was plenty happy with $100,000. She did what she called her lucky dance. She spun around on the stage and she was all smiles and uh, very, very happy. And we're, we're happy for her. It was a great experience and a lot of fun uh, for our players and, and a lot of fun for us to, to be able to put that on for them uh, with, with assistance from a, a number of great uh, uh, vendors that we work with, uh, our creative agency, GKV and REJ, our production company, and uh, a company called Atlas Experiences that kind of gave us the, the, uh, the game show style uh, elements that we had uh, on this play there at the state fair so it was a a great experience for everybody your biggest event of the year would you say oh yeah it was this was the centerpiece of our 50th anniversary celebration you know we knew we wanted an all games promotion uh the the vehicle for entering this was 50 dollars worth of any lottery tickets again corresponding to our 50th anniversary and this was really the center but we had a lot of promotions this year at one point i think we had six different second chance promotions going which is a lot. We always have a couple at least going at, uh, at the same time. But I mean, we, to have six all at once was was a big deal for us. And but this was the big one, and uh, really happy with how it turned out, and 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 uh, a great experience for our players there. Well, I'm just happy she gets to take that hundred grand back to the beach. When you said Berlin, I'm thinking yep. that ain't Cumberland. I mean, they got water over there, you know. So <laughs> Berlin's good. Seth Elkin is here. He gets all over the state. I saw him down in Ocean City through Berlin. Uh, on the way to uh, Mako last month, uh, communicating all things Maryland Lottery. So I, I know we've had other winners. I, I saw the bus driver winner. We've had $100,000 winners. Bring me up to speed on, on the Ravens game. I mean, obviously, we had a home game last week. We're on the road this week, the injuries, all that stuff. If you want to talk about week one and how your team did, I'm happy to do that as well. Uh, yeah, we, we can talk skip about that. that. We can I think that is perfectly that. fine. We'll talk Pittsburgh week a couple weeks from now when it's Pittsburgh week. But the, the <laughs> Ravens scratch offs. New, out, I don't have them. I'll be giving them away this week whenever I have them. They're purple. Everybody's grabbing them from me. They'll be grabbing them at Fadley's and at Coco's this week from me on the tour. But this is an annual promotion. And tickets for life and the experiential stuff and obviously, you know, being at the games, throwing the football, trying to win, all of that that's going on. Soup to nuts. Let's go through the Ravens promotion because it is is the season, right? And it's new. We've talked so much home run riches the last six months. (laughs) Yeah, we've uh, so we've got the Ravens tickets are back, uh, and th- this is probably the most eagerly anticipated second chance promotion that we've got uh, every year. Uh, there are two Ravens tickets: Ravens times two, Raven times five. Uh, Twenty thousand dollar top prize on the on the first one, fifty or a hundred thousand dollar top prize on Ravens times five. We actually have seen that first hundred thousand dollar winner uh, was somebody from Hagerstown that uh, claimed that first hundred thousand dollar prize on that. Uh, Ravens I hope they weren't a Steelers fan. I mean, Hagerstown uh, <laughs> yeah. out there, you never know. It's, you know, it's, uh, you know. 
you don't know out there. It's middle territory there. Yeah. So, uh, so, so it's always fun to, to see those winners, but of course the second chance contest, any non-winning Ravens ticket can be entered into the Ravens second chance promotion. And there are a whole host of prizes that you can win and, and you can select which of the drawings you want to be part of. There are cash prizes. There are season ticket packages for 2024. Uh, there are game day experiences, uh, there's the pass for cash uh, experience that we have on field at halftime during the, the Ravens home games. And then, of course, the big one is the Ravens seats for 20 years. So uh, that one, we we will award the winner of that early in uh, in 2024 is when we'll reveal that. But we'll select finalists for that uh, over the next several months as we go. So now's the time to enter your non-winning Ravens tickets for that. So uh, lots of lots of prizes and, and, and kind of cool that you get to have your choice of which one of those drawings and which ones of those prizes that you want to be part of no truth that you can win a chance to be the running back this week right no 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 chance for that i i don't think we quite have enough of a connection with the ravens to be able to get somebody on the field in in that manner but uh yeah they they're going to need someone to carry the ball although i don't know i guess i guess they'll be okay with gus edwards and justice hill right yeah oh yeah i mean yeah but the 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 issue for me is how weird the offense looked and lamar doesn't want to run and they don't want lamar to run and lamar when he run designed plays i mean he was their best running back the last three years he was their highest rusher right like so um they still have him i I mean as long as they have him considering how much they've invested in him do you want him to run and take hits that there's the question well, considering how much they invested in him, then he's got to throw the ball, right? And they only threw the ball 25 times last week. This was the conundrum all year. You know, let's talk about the offseason and, and the offense is like all these wide receivers, new toys. How much do they want to throw? How much do they want to run? What's going to be the ideal balance? Hey, no complaints here. They're one and oh, which is better than some folks out in Western Pennsylvania. I told all of our listeners here, call all your friends and relatives in Western Pennsylvania. Speak. Check in, see how the kids are doing going back to school. Just see how they're doing out there right now. You doing okay? All your relatives okay? Uh, well, it's it, everybody goes into panic mode when the Steelers play as badly as they did. Uh, they in, play in crappy season. in week one a lot, don't they? Don't they? I mean, over the course of the last 15 years, they, they've gotten slaughtered in week one a bunch and still won 11 or 12 games. I, though, they, they tend to, you know, the one that sticks out in everybody's mind for those of us who are old enough to remember, and I think I, I remember talking about this last year too because they did the same problem early in the season, is that that 51 nothing loss to Cleveland at the beginning of the 89 season. That was easily the most embarrassing loss that I can remember in all of my years as a Steelers fan. And uh, there were shades of that uh, in the game against the Niners on Sunday. Uh, they just didn't look like they wanted to be there. It, it, it looked really, really bad. So uh, there's no way to go, but up. Uh, and so hopefully that's, uh, that that's something good. And you're playing the, the Browns in week two and you know, there's still the Browns. I don't care that they won. <laughs> I don't well, care that they beat the Bengals. The Bengals are still the Bungles as far as I'm concerned. I'm picking games this year, right? With Christian Horton up at Hollywood Casino and, and Perryville. So we're doing this every week. We're picking games. Here's the thing now with sports wagering. If you really think the Steelers stink, you can invest in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really think the Ravens are going to be okay, you can invest in that. You know, if you think uh, Joe Burrow is going to bounce, you can invest in it. So, so this sports wagering situation where we have now with mobile, and obviously the responsible part of this, and I see all of the the, the messaging about responsibility. I really do hope people that are having problems slow their roll here and and make because this the beginning of the season it's addictive for me with food and drinks and tv and how much i mean i don't know that i'm being responsible on how much football i'm watching right now yeah i'm probably watching too much football but i can imagine if you have a jones to 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 wager on it and this is all very new right slow the roll and i want to make sure you get uh, some oxygen to talk about that but more than that the fact that it's here and it's happening and everybody's participating yeah, obviously, you know, we, we say this all the time. We we urge people to play responsibly. Remember, it's a form of entertainment. Have fun with it. If it's not fun, then stop and think about it. You're doing bit. it wrong. Yeah. yeah. And, and and there are there are significant resources that have been uh, dedicated to helping people that do have an issue with their gambling. Um, more than six million dollars. Uh, that was contributed to the Problem Gambling Fund uh, from the casinos and from expired sports wagering prizes uh, during fiscal 2023. So there is free 
uh, uh, assessment and treatment available for anybody that's a Maryland resident. You call 1-800-GAMBLER or go to mdgamblinghelp.org and uh, you can get help at, at no cost. And even if it's not you, if you know somebody that you're observing and you just somebody in your life that you think may be having an issue, um, you can get advice on how to talk to them about it uh, by calling and, or, or going to the website. So um, the resources I, I definitely want to have those available. folks on. Let John know that. You, you now know that. I'll tell Doug too. Um, I, I'd like to have I said to my wife, I wonder how many people are calling, right? I just, I just say, and I don't need answers on this, but like, I wonder, it's all there. You see it yeah. all the time. 1-800, you can call. I wonder how many people really are reaching early on and saying, mm, I got a problem or whether the phone's not ringing. And when the phone rings, what really happens? You, you know, I, I wonder this out loud for something I'm promoting, obviously, and I've been promoting sports and like. I guess on the side sports wagering for 32 years here because people were doing it um, and asking me about spreads and numbers and pool card, all that stuff. But like, it's different now because it, it's, it's, it's on your phone. You know I mean? No, no, nobody will know what you're doing except you. And I think that that's, that's concerning for me. It should be concerning for everybody. And I'm glad that we have a system set up to try to help folks. Yeah, and it, it, you know, it can be difficult to get somebody to admit that they have a problem and, and to get them to take action. And, and, you know, again, that's why if you see somebody in your life, you know, somebody that, that uh, maybe they're not hiding it as well as they think they are. And uh, you observe it and you can get help trying to figure out how to talk to them about it. And, you know, the other thing to remember, you were talking about some of these results uh, from, from the first week of the NFL season. Uh, you know, we all, as sports fans, we all think we've got an expertise and that, that we know what's going to happen or we can predict what's going to happen. But look how many unpredictable things happened in week one of the NFL season. The Chiefs got beat. Uh, the Bills got beat. Aaron Rodgers is out for the season. J.K. Dobbins and they is out won. for the season. And they won and covered. And you have no idea that any of these things are going to occur. So, you know, it, it's a, there's always going to be an element of, of unpredictability and randomness to it that you just can't control no matter how much you feel like you might know. Uh, about what's going to happen. You just have a feeling you, you never know what's going to occur once the ball gets kicked off. So, you know, be careful about those kinds of things. I, I, I'll give you a little story. And this is a Pittsburgh guy. So you'll appreciate this. He's one of, he's a Yinzer. Marvin Lewis and I were together early in our, our time together. Every Friday uh, he would have a bag lunch and we would sit in his office and watch film Friday afternoon. It was kind of like my education of how I learned football in 1996, 97, 98 through their eyes. And there was one point he had his little red dot up on the screen and I don't know, Donnie Brady blue coverage or uh, there was a ball in the air and the ball went bouncing. It was like a NFL follies, film follies. You know, the ball is bouncing. Guys are trying to dive on it. He stopped it and he looked at me. I'll never because I always had the whites of his eyes because there's always a film room, like literally. So it was always really dark in there with that white projected light. And I remember him looking at me. He's like. I can't believe people gamble on this. He's like, I, 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 I'm in here every, I have no idea what's going to happen. And I coach it all week. And then the ball bounces like that. I have no idea. But Seth Elkin is here uh, talking about gambling, wagering, lotterying, taking care of yourself, sports wagering. Did I admit, did I leave anything out? Are there winners that I left out here this week or home run rich is still going on for another week or two. Right. I mean, Yep. It's, like I said, it's fun seeing the ball fly out of the ballpark. Uh, and, you know, on, on the sports wagering side, you know, we just reported the August uh, revenue figures for sports wagering. More than two and a half million dollars contributed to the blueprint for Maryland's future fund. So uh, a, a September is going to be like exponential to that, right? Yeah, well, a pretty solid month for for a, a month before football season really gets started. And there's probably some wagering on on preseason games, believe it or not. Uh, I don't know why. I, I I don't think I would want to wager on a preseason game as as as, as the unpredictability that we're talking about. It's even more unpredictable. There's there. a problem with Harbaugh. You bet on them for six years in a row, then they lose a couple after all that. You know. <laughs> But yeah, we, we certainly, uh, you would expect that uh, the, the numbers are going to go up. We're going to have a few really strong months here uh, it, during the fall while, while football season is in progress. It's our first full football season with mobile wagering from the beginning of the season. And now my lights just went out. I got to do the clap thing again. You taught me. That's all right. Clap away. That's all right. I'm clapping for <laughs> there you. There we go. There you go. <laughs> so. Seth, I appreciate you, man. We'll uh, check in again. I'll see you soon. And man, we got crab cake tours all over the place. We're going to be at Fadley's on Friday morning. 
Man, I'm going to bring home some some fresh fish for my wife. We're going to throw that up on the grill as well. Uh, great seafood market down there. Friday night, we're going to be at the Nest at the Baltimore Convention Center, uh, having some some beers and hot dogs and listening to music and enjoying a beautiful Friday night and wearing black, and it's Adam Jones and, like, all of that stuff. I am writing a Dear Adam Jones letter that I want everybody to read as part of our columnist this week. We're going to have Maryland Lottery scratch-offs, not these 50th anniversaries. No, 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 no. The fresh ones. The Raven scratch-offs. I will have them in my hand Friday morning at Fadley's as well as Friday night at the Nest. And then next Thursday, we're going to be at Coco's in Laraville, all Baltimore City to kick off the season. Two legendary crab cakes. They both ship. They're both available. People ask me where to get a crab cake in a city. Get over to Fadley's at the old Lexington Market. Get over to Coco's in Laraville like I'm doing. Man, two, two of those kind of crab cakes, five days, six days apart. It's going to be a perfect week here this week. Uh, the Orioles playing playoff baseball this weekend. The Ravens in Cincinnati. And uh, we're going to be around. Luke's going to be uh, out in uh, uh, at, at the castle all week. And then, of course, at the ballpark all weekend. Everything we do is available at Baltimore Positive. Big appreciation to our friends at Window Nation, 86690 Nation, as well as our newest sponsor, Jiffy Lube, for our Maryland Crab Cake Tour. And big appreciation to the Maryland Lottery. Come find me. Get some winners. Some Raven scratch-offs. They'll be the purple ones that I'm holding on Friday and Friday night and next Thursday. I'm Nestor. He's Seth. We are WNST AM 1570. Towson, Baltimore. And we never stop talking Baltimore. Positive.